Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip, I'm gonna introduce you to the CC glass effect in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. You can use the CC glass effect if you want to make text or graphics look kind of like glass or porcelain. I'll also show you how you can use CC glass effect to create almost this electrical tape look that you see here on the logo, as well as the background, which I think looks like a shaggy carpet. And finally, I'll show you how you can use CC glass to create this effect that looks like a text or a logo or any graphic is pushing through the background layer. So first I'll select the text layer in the layers panel then go to the effects and presets panel. I'll click in the search field and I'll just start typing out glass. So with the text layer selected, all I need to do is just double click on the effect. And with the text layer still selected, you're gonna to go to the effect controls panel where you can customize the CC glass effect. Just twirl it open. There you'll see all the properties. And if you wanna do it before and after, just click on the FX next to the CC glass name. There's the before and there's the after. For the CC glass effect, you'll probably spend most of your time customizing in the surface section. Bump map, we'll look at in just a second. Softness, you're gonna see it's gonna give kind of more of a rounded, bubbled look and to sharpen the edges. If you lower the displacement, you'll see the edges will get sharper or you can increase it. And now for the second example. So first I added a logo, then I added a shape. I just went to the top menu, clicked on the rectangle tool, added a blue fill color, no stroke, just double clicked right on the rectangle tool that created a shape to fill up the size of the composition. Then below the shape layer, I added a texture layer. I went back to the shape layer and changed the blend mode from normal to color burn. I added two solid layers, each with the fractal noise effect. So I just right clicked in the layers panel, went to new, solid, made it comp size, clicked okay, went to the effects and presets, did a search for fractal noise, and dragged the fractal noise onto each of those solid layers. I added the CC glass effect to the logo layer by selecting the logo, going to the effects and presets, searching for glass, and dragging the CC glass effect on the logo. Then in the effect controls panel, you will see once the CC glass effect is added, it gets that glassy porcelain look. But when you twirl open the effect, twirl open surface, the key here is the bump map. This is going to really harness the power of the CC glass effect. I'm gonna click on this drop down and I'm gonna choose one of the fractal noise layers that we created and then go right next to the bump map layer and choose effects and masks. And now you can see Whatever you select here is going to really drive that effect along with the settings that you change in CC glass effect. You'll also want to experiment with the property dropdown as you're going to get some different effects depending on what you choose here. Then whatever you have in the bump map, you'll just go to that layer. So I have the fractal noise and any changes that I make to the fractal noise settings are going to affect the CC glass effect and you can get some crazy results by just playing with the fractal noise settings. And I animated it by holding the option key and clicking on the stopwatch for evolution. And I just type out the expression time times 100. So now I've got the logo moving. And to create the shaggy rug background, I selected the shape layer, added the CC glass effect, went to bump map, and I selected the second fractal noise layer. I just customized the settings and came up with this kind of unique look in the background that I thought was cool. And I added some movement to the background layer in the same way. I just went to the fractal noise layer, press option or alt, click on the stopwatch next to evolution. Then I just added the simple expression time times 100. And for the last example, where it looks like the text of the logo is pushing through the background layer, I'm going to select the shape layer, which already has the CC glass effect on it. I'm just gonna hide the visibility of this logo. Then I'm gonna to go to bump map. Instead of choosing one of the fractal noise layers, I'm going to choose whatever I want to push through the background. So I'll start with the text. And just like that, you can see the text is now protruding through the background. Pretty cool. If I change the bump map again to the logo, the same effect, then customize to your heart's content. And that is the CC glass effect in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.